Hello and welcome to SourceCat. In this two-part video series, I'll tell you about creating the title block and using that title block in actual drawings and templates. So in this first part, we'll learn about creating our title block right from scratch from this very blank template. And then we'll learn to save that title block as a template file. And in the second video, we'll learn about using that template file in actual drawings. So let's get started. So here in this case, we have a completely blank drawing and we don't even know about the units and the standards which we are using. So the first thing that we need to ensure is the proper unit. So I'll be using Imperial system that is fit in inch system for this drawing and the paper size for which I'll create this title block will be NCA. It's 11 inches by 8.5 inches paper. So before beginning, will set the units for that type un and press enter so this will open this and drawing units window from here i'll go to this architectural and insertion scale inches so make sure these two settings are properly set also i'll change the precision to 1 16th of an inch now click on ok all right so the units are set now we'll start with the rectangle tool so i'll go to rectangle now click anywhere in the drawing area to start the rectangle and now I'll create the title block and for that I'll type at and the length and width of paper. So you know that the length of this paper is 11 inches so I'll type 11 inches comma 8.5 inches and press enter. Well there we have it. So this is the size of paper and we are going to use this paper for our title block now let's go to offset and let's add an offset distance of 0 0.1 inches press enter and i'll select this box click inside and that will create this small offset gap here all right now let's select this one this rectangle which is inside and explode it so i'll click on this explode tool and it will simply explode it into simple geometries now you can see that i am able to select all of these lines separately okay now we'll make some offsets and for that i'll go to this offset tool and i'll add the first offset distance of 1.2 inches press enter now select this line and click upwards now once I can go to offset and select 0.1 inches as the offset distance click on this line click upwards okay so that's done now let's create some offsets here so I'll go to offset again and I'll add an offset distance of 5 inches and press enter now click on this line and click towards left go to offset again a distance of 3 inches press enter click on this line click towards left okay now go to offset again and enter the distance of 0 0.1 inches press enter click towards right select this click towards right so we have added a lot now let's get rid of some of these extra lines so I'll go to trim press enter let's get rid of these two lines also here i'll trim some of the extra lines which are no longer needed so carefully remove the lines which i am removing now in this case i am simply making a generic title block your title block may look different and the title blocks are generally company specific so your company might be using some kind of a title block which will look a lot different from this one which i am making so that's totally fine you can use the title block which your company uses and the whole idea behind explaining this tutorial with the help of this sample title block is to make you familiar with this process so that you can create your own title block with the fields and other related information so now we have these trims let's add more offsets so i'll go to offset again and i'll add an offset distance of 0 0.25 inches and simply click on this line click here and keep on making some offsets so we need some offsets here okay that's fine and that's enough number of offsets now we need to make some offsets towards this side and for that i'll go to offset again the distance will be 0.3 inches click on this line click towards right go to offset again 
now it will be 1.6 inches click on this one click towards right again offset 0.4 inches and click towards right and press enter so these are the offsets now let's create some offsets here so i'll go to offset again and add a distance of 0.3 and click on this line downwards click on this line and downwards all right again let's move to this part go to offset again and add a distance of 1.8 inches click on this line click towards right now go to offset again and the distance this time would be 0.3 i'll click on this line click downwards offset again distance is 0.5 click on this i'll click downwards again offset distance will be 1.2 select this line click towards right once again offset distance will be 0.8 click on this line and click towards right so we have made some offsets now let's trim some of the geometries which are no longer needed so i'll go to trim press enter and first i'll trim this part so this will be the part where we'll add the logo of your own company or the logo of your client now we don't need these lines these lines are no longer needed but we still need one more offset here so i'll go to offset again and add a distance of 0.2 click on this line and click in the downward direction there we have it now let's go to trim enter this part and well this part cannot be trimmed because that's the last line so i'll select and erase it okay so that's the first block which we have now let's trim these blocks well that's fine we don't need to trim anything here but we do need to trim some of the geometries from here so i'll go to trim press enter and here you need to trim this block completely so i'll just clean that area and that's all the trim that we need here so let's now press enter and there we have it so the basic structure of our title block is now prepared and we can use this title block to add information now the information in this title block can be added using the text tool and before using the text tool to add the information i'll create a text style with standard text height so for that i'll go to annotation panel expand it and go to this a icon that's the text style icon you can also expand this one and go to manage text styles all right so this will take you to this text style window where we have annotative and standard text style let's click on new and create our own text style so i'll name it as title block and click on ok as well there we have it title block now i'll go to font and i'll select simplex dot shx that's the shape font which we are going to use now in the height field change your height to whatever height you feel will be appropriate for this case so generally 3 16 of an inch or 1 4 of an inch is the standard height which can be used on this sheet of paper so for this case let's use 3 16 of an inch so i'll type 3 16 of an inch press tab key and click on apply and close so we have our proper text style set and if you expand the panel like annotation panel you'll see this title block text style so that's the current text style which we created using the custom text font as well as the text height and now in the next video we'll learn about using that font style to add information in this title block as well as we'll learn about converting this drawing into a template which can be used in other drawings